it doesn't have rev limiter on it. So, um, and but the automatic you can't destroy it. No, because it'll change gear when it wants to. Um, actually, let's get the aircon going first because it is warm in here. So if you put your foot on the brake for me, please, and turn the ignition on, which is to your right on the, on the column. Yeah. Alright, a bit further, sorry. There we go, that's right, cool. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, right, yeah, so yeah. have you ever done any track work before? No, but I have spent an extensive number of time, amount of time looking at this track on YouTube videos and I actually got a, a racing game which has got the Hampton Downs track oh, okay. out, which Very is neat. the full track, Okay. not the national track. Unfortunately, we're not doing that, eh? the international no, no, one. No, no, so. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the, the lines and the curves and the bumps and the, all enough. that sort of thing. I've spent hours, there, there's one actual specific training video where the guy says, you know, and exactly what they did in the van, you know, be on the left here and be on the right there and go over the curb there and all that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. So I, th I think I've got a, a little bit of a jump start there maybe. You'll find it's a whole different experience when you're driving it. I would imagine so, <laughs> yes, yes. But it won't be completely strange. The G, well, that's right. The, G, the G-forces will certainly be uh, something that you'll, you'll find is you don't get out of a racing game. So, no, so basically what I what I suggest to people is, I mean, just so you, so you know who I am, what I do. Um, I've raced cars for the last 40 years. I do this as a job. Uh, I live here. I'm also the commentator here. So I know this place at the back of my hand. Yeah. I so imagine. what I suggest to people is the, the way for you to get the best enjoyment out of it is to you just accelerate brake and steer and i'll drive the car through your left ear okay right? <laughs> yeah. and, and, because, yeah. and that way that way you get to do your racing game and see how it all goes that way um without having to worry about where you're braking etc etc because i'm telling you that's where you need to be doing it yeah. um most important thing especially with this car over, over the other the others is this is a gt car whereas all the others are sports cars this is a little bit heavier in the nose and it, it's it's um, uh, tends to understeer a bit. Yeah, no, it doesn't really understeer, but it's just got different characteristics. So, especially under brakes, um, don't when you when you come up to when I say brake, I don't want you to thump the brakes. I want you to brake brake forcefully and progressively to bring the car down to the speed that we're going to go through the corner at. I ride bikes. It's the same thing. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. So, so when we get to the, the turn in point, don't turn in until until I call turn in. Yeah. Um, so come when, and at that point you come off the brake and straight back onto the gas. So you like a bike, you're driving yourself through a corner, right? Yeah. Okay. When you come off the corner, um, well, sorry, as you as you're coming through and you get to the apex, imagine that you've got a piece of string tied between your your hand on the steering wheel and your accelerator foot. So you're going through the corner, you're powering through the corner, and as you straighten up out of the corner, foot goes down. your foot goes down. Uh, so you're putting the, the power in, so you're getting a nice gentle feed off of the corner, and, and the car, and smooth, especially this car, the smoother you are with it, the, the, the better it goes. Mm -hmm. so, um, so yeah, the only other thing is, if we do happen to come up behind another car, don't go barreling past it, I'll radio ahead and we'll, they'll give us a pass where they want us to pass. And likewise, if somebody's going to catch us, and that could very well be the, the e, or well, not so much the not so much the other cars. Sometimes you do, but uh, it's generally the Evo when it's on a hot lap. Um, sometimes I haven't got time to say to you, oh, oh the Evo's coming. I need a radio. And sometimes I'll just radio the Evo and say, go to my right. I'm next straight. And can I, I can I adjust these mirrors? Uh, or are they set for you? No, they're set for me. So. I see that. Um, yeah, so you, well, you don't need to worry what's behind us. It's all it's all okay. for you. What it is, it's all about what's in front of you. Okay. So I've, I'm keeping an eye on the mirror, so I will tell you if something is coming. Um, like I say, if the Evo arrives, especially where at the back of the on the, on the back of the track, um, where you know, I can't quite see when he's coming, I might just have to just grab the wheel and say, go the left off, go the right, go the left, and he, and I'll say he go past me. So, um, but that that's that's. I try and plan it so they're not on the track at the same time as us. He'll be going slightly quicker than we are. Oh, he goes a lot quicker than we do. So, <laughs> okay. All right, Reno, so let's um, get her out into the track and... Uh, uh, so, the first, the first lap we're going to go relatively easy. Oh, you said take it, take it apart, whatever pace you want to take it at. So it's entirely up to you. Okay. So, and... Uh, but if you'll intervene when it gets a bit too hot. Oh, look, if, if, you're, getting, if you're getting out of... Yeah, you know, if you're getting too quick, I'll, I'll say to you, just back off a bit but you know, but generally I haven't found so many people that are over driving yet so, so and if you, right okay so I'm sorry I've got somebody talking in my ear at the moment right where you go
you know, all the preparations sort of stuff that I did has helped because it, it all looks really familiar. Oh, good, good. Where to go to the front there? Or? Yeah, just down by here, seven and eight.
enjoy it. That was good. For a, um, a fast run this time round. This is a, um, a Mitsubishi Evo 10. It's a 2 litre turbo. Um, 295 horsepower if you're interested in those sorts of things. Alright, we're all buckled in. Safe as hands. Do you have any um, aftermarket modifications in this car? No, the only thing that we've changed is it runs endurance pads. Okay. So it doesn't really yeah. alter the performance. So this is um, a stock standard car which will give you a good idea of what it's capable of off the shelf. Okay, okay. so are you guys ready to rock and roll? Oh yeah. Alright, well let's get amongst it, eh? You've obviously done this before a couple of times. A couple of times. <laughs> Ferrari, this is uh, Eva approaching. <laughs> Passing on your right, thank you. doing this one? Uh, we'll probably get up to about 160 down here and then about 170 just before pit lane. But it's really about the corners in this car isn't it? It's quite amazing how it uh, hangs on. How fast are you doing this one? Uh, we'll do it just over 100. On that corner, yeah. You're bypassing this jolly chicane. Throwing it around, no, yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Bit of fun? Wow. Uh, yeah. Hey, do you have availability for more? I would like to buy uh, one of these experience for my girlfriend. Yeah, sure. If you if you just see um, Mel at the pit tent, yeah, she'll sure. be able to look after you and get it organised. Sure, sure. I was thinking. No, worries. so I hope you enjoyed that in your day, guys. Awesome. So, <laughs> thanks, thanks for coming uh, out. Uh, really that was, appreciate well, it. That was coming. brilliant. Thanks awesome. very much. No man. worries, Han. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Awesome. Safe travels if you're sneaking down the back roads, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna attempt to do this. <laughs> I've got a 15 under Corolla, it's not quite up to it. <laughs> Any good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quick enough? Yeah, no. Corolla could beat it. Corolla could beat it, you reckon? Yeah. Probably could, eh? It was rather quick. <laughs>